Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Andy and welcome back to the MSI tutorial video. This year, long awaited desktop level performance flagship, the MSI laptop Titan GT77 has returned. And today I'm showing you the latest Titan GT77 design features and tips. First, let's look at its design. The MSI Titan GT77 is only 23 millimeters thin. The core black chassis is made of aluminum metal alloy and its sandblasting finish prevents it from becoming a fingerprint magnet. On the lid, you will find an MSI Dragon Badge, and on the back, there are two transparent strikes and a long exhaust fan that extends across the back of Titan GT77. All of the above three have RGB LED built-in, and the illumination can be controlled by SteelSeries GG software. And the glass surface tripod next to the keyboard provides a much smoother and responsive experience as you glide around the cursor. The hardware of Titan GT77 is capable of handling desktop-level heavy loading jobs. It is equipped with up to 16 cores 12th gen Intel Core i9-12900HX processor with 30MB L3 cache, up to NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU, 4 DDR5 memory slots, 4 M.2 NVMe SSD slots, 17.3 inch Ultra HD 120Hz display, 99.9 watt hour battery. The new Intel i9-12900HX chip is identical to the Intel 12th gen desktop CPU and capable of delivering more than 150 watts of turbo boost power, bringing the performance you can never imagine on a laptop. With a powerful 16 cores Intel 12th gen HX processor inside, the cooling system is the main factor that determines how far you can push and maintain your performance. The Titan GT77 Cooler Boost Titan system has seven heat pipes and four fans that ensures stable high performance during heavy loading tasks and of course it includes gaming in high or ultra settings. It is truly a laptop with not only the desktop level hardware but also offers the same level of upgrade capability. Inside the laptop, it contains four M.2 NVMe SSD slots and four DDR5 memory slots you can upgrade to maximum 8TB SSD capacity and 128GB memory, depends on your need. Thanks to the powerful Cooler Boost Titan, the MSI engineer can finally release the true power of CPU and GPU. Regular laptops are unable to handle the heat generated from CPU and GPU and heavy gaming loading. To prevent overheating and maintain performance at an acceptable level, the CPU power will drop as a result in order to keep the GPU from throttling. On the other hand, when MSI Titan GT77 is under heavy gaming loading, the fine-tuned firmware will keep the CPU at 75 watts and the GPU at 175 watts at a total of 250 watts under the cooling of Cooler Boost Titan heat pipes and fans. As always, the GT77 being the Titan series comes an arsenal of I.O. ports. On the left of the laptop, you get DC in, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, SD card reader, and an audio combo jack. On the right side, there are Ethernet ports, the HDMI, mini display ports, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A. The I/O ports support three external monitor outputs from Thunderbolt 4, Mini Display Ports, and HDMI, maximizing your screen real estate up to one plus three. Next, let's look at the keyboard. The keyboard on Titan GT77 is not just a regular RGB keyboard. Instead, it is a RGB Cherry MX mechanical keyboard. The logo on the keyboard states its own identity. The keystrokes on Titan GT77 is also very different from any regular laptop thanks to the Cherry MX mechanical keyboard. Much different than the generic membrane keyboards found in most laptops, the GT77 uses Cherry MX mechanical switch, which provides a firm tactile feedback and a considerable key travel distance on every keystroke. Enough talks, let's turn on the laptop. Please do remember to plug the adapter in before you turn on the laptop for the very first time so you can disengage the shipping mode. Press the power button on to turn on the laptop. The LED on the power button indicates if the software is using discrete GPU. When it is using discrete GPU, the LED turns from white to orange color. Let me share some more tips on the GT77 with you. 
On the left of the power button, there are F1 to F12 hotkeys, and by default, they work as F1 to F12, but by holding the function key and escape key, the default function will be toggled between each other. Check LED indicator on escape key shows the default function status. Note that the other printed function, like cooler boost or crosshair on the arrow keys, can also be triggered with the function key. We have mentioned in the beginning that the color of MSI Dragon badge the dual RGB strike and projective mystic light bar can be controlled. Launch SteelSeries GG, choose engine, then you can select the item individually and customize light patterns. After you change the setting, the light pattern will change immediately. The RGB keyboard can also be controlled by SteelSeries GG, choose engine, MSI per key RGB keyboard, you can set up the illumination and edit macro keys for the game you need. If the game you play is supported by GameSense, you can turn your keyboard into Game Hint Indicator. Check our SteelSeries Engine tutorial for the detailed step-by-step -step guide. Other than the keyboard control, SteelSeries Engine can now optimize your gaming sound effects too. In Sonar page, there are optimized corresponding EQ for individual games. By selecting them, you can hear the bullet steps and hear more clearly. You can now easily search and destroy. With the help of cooling, MSI has added another feature, which is the discrete mode. By default, the Titan GT77 is running at NVIDIA Optimus mode, which automatically switches between integrated graphics and discrete graphics depending on the task. However, discrete graphics have to go through integrated graphics at Optimus mode, therefore resulting in performance loss. With the help of the hardware MUX switch on the circuit board, after switching to discrete graphics in MSI Center general setting, you can force the laptop to use discrete graphics and boost the performance. The overboost mentioned in the previous chapter will also be activated after switching to discrete graphics mode. The MSI Center built-in has different user scenario modes. You can also use the F7 hotkey to switch between the modes. When you select Extreme Performance, you can edit the detail settings from MSI Center. There are two new modes in MSI Center, Smart Auto and Ambient Silent AI. In short, the Smart Auto switch between the modes automatically by detecting what software you are using. The Ambient Silent AI adjusts laptop fan speed to match the environment noise to maximize performance and stay relatively quiet. You can also check out the MSI Center tutorial video for detailed information. The future is here. The metaverse is now embedded in our lives. The MSI Titan GT77 is meta-ready. The powerful hardware can generate your image into a metaverse avatar in real time and can be used on online meeting software. Animes redefines avatar embodiment with enhanced face tracking, expressive animation, and improved graphics to deliver more expressive avatars than ever before. You could download it from MSI official site or the live update in the MSI Center. If you're an MSI laptop user, you will be able to get the exclusive Lucky Avatar and free subscription for six months. Check out the MSI Anime's tutorial for more detailed step-by-step -step guide. Hope the sharing today was useful and thank you for watching. Peace.